Man, there's frickin' frost on the pumpkin here this morning. Got down to like 23 degrees last night. It ain't much warmer now. It's in the mid-30s. Whew, dog, that's too early for, for this part of the country. Anyway, we're going to do a little looking around. They're pulling crops out. And of course, the, the ground isn't bare. It's got a lot of cover. I'm going to do a little looking this morning. Maybe we'll find something. Who knows? Hickbilly Outdoors, DW Verts. It is a chilly, sunny buck. It feels pretty good, too. Again, you got the problem you have this time of year is and, uh, they just started pulling crops out. There's a lot of clutter, not much visibility, and what we got here is where no corn grew at all because it's such a horrible summer. So I'm going to hunt some of these bare spots. We haven't hardly had any rain on this. I hunted it last spring, but I have to have something to do. I thought I'd take a quick run up through here see if we can find something. This one in kind of interesting fields that usually when you see a rock it's been hit on by ancient man or whatever I don't think it's anything but I'm gonna pull it out and we'll see nope but see it's got it's been definitely been hit on a lot of pretty lithics through here there's a flake right over there this uh tricky time because all this ground cover I'm in bare dirt here but everything else over there is covered with grass there's a horrible summer dry the weeds grew up inside this corn but you have a window here if they don't work this ground before deer season obviously that puts it into winter time i'm not gonna be out here arrowhead hunting during firearm season i'm just not gonna do that um, that creates issues between me and the deer hunters and there's windows or of opportunity that's better at this so it needs to get turned over cleaned off and then of course rained on to pop anything out and I mean, I'm seeing a lot of flakes and stuff. Maybe we'll get lucky, but I'm not. My hopes aren't real high for today. But you know what? I've been doing very many hunting videos, and I'm gonna do one today, no matter what. Again, there's where I'm up against. Most of this field is just gonna be unsearchable, but there are strips. I'm just gonna go from strip to strip of bare dirt. Pretty thing. It's uh proper lithic it's kind of a semi-cooked rock i don't know what they're you know it's just been hit on that's all there's nothing special about that one of course but everything i've seen so much pretty much so far it's been hard has been hit on by man okay not that one never mind <laughs> that's what i'm up against a bitter cold north wind and i'm just getting old and soft that's that's what the whole deal really is that's one of the mounds I was on here last spring. There's two of them right, well, there's one ridge, it kind of has a mound on each end of it. And obviously there's just no visibility here at all. I, I'm gonna keep talking about that, which gotta go up against. I found a few things here this spring. Of course, it's no-till. It's just uh, so hard to have new artifacts come out of the ground when they're not getting very deep. I can dig here. I don't know if I've got the right spot to dig. Well, I mean, there's a flake right there. So what's, is that a wrong spot? No, I mean, that's a flake. There's a flake. There's a flake. It's all, I mean, everywhere, debitized. So yeah, it might be a place to try to do a couple test holes to dig. Again, it'll probably be after, I mean, these are, everything I'm pulling out right here is flakes. Look at that, everything. And Bill, yeah, I left your tool in my wife's vehicle. That's why I've got this. Sorry. <laughs> the wind's probably getting me here, but I thought I'd show another look. at The mound that I'm on, it joins up with another mound on the end, and there's that mound way over there. I think you can see that okay. Found some stuff on it before, but I've never dug it. Neat little mound. So there's room here to do some digging probably. It's freaking cold out here. I can't believe I didn't dress warm enough for this. Sun feels good, but I didn't know what I was doing when I left the house this morning, which I don't know what I'm doing when I leave the house most mornings. That's just the way I operate. I don't know what I'm doing. 
But I thought I'd bring y'all along because to explain there's timing issues in anything you do in this. And timing will help you find stuff. Same thing in fishing. Having good timing is going to be a big part of it. And right now we're on a, out of time. I'm just going from bear spot to bear spot. Which most years there wouldn't even be bear spots right now. But it's such a dry year we didn't do very good on our corn. Again, debitage is everywhere. This looks like it may be something besides debitage. Yep, it is. Look at that. Uh, really don't know except it's a complete piece. Worked all the way around but not finished. It's like a, I think it's a small preform. There's no finished flake on the edges at all. It was never going to be beautiful, but I believe that was a, a preform is ready to be shaped and notched. It's got a kind of rough edge there. But if I was making that, you know, point myself as a napper, look at that edge there. So that's something. I, I believe that's what we're looking at right there. I think. Well, no, I know. Big old chunk piece of pottery right there. Man, that's a big old thick piece. I don't have a clue. I found a couple little pieces right over here by it. Didn't realize what I was looking at. I mean, well, I knew it was probably really small pieces. That's a big old chunk right there. Old. Cool. Yeah, this grass is several inches deep. It makes it hard. Mound over there. And I'm on a big mound here where the terrace ties into it. It's funny. Well, it's not funny. Truthfully, I've told this before in some videos. Once I get on top of the mound where there's bare dirt, I'm not finding near the stuff I was down the sides and below the mounds. It just makes sense because erosion and things have brought some of that stuff to the surface better, especially with this no-till, no plowing deal we do anymore. And... Uh, you're going to find more stuff on the sides than you do on top. I need to get my tools out and look these mounds over maybe better. And I've never found even a piece of debitage in that little field. To ever have I found anything in that little field. How's that for amazing? With these fields up here and one of my best fields ever on the planet is about a quarter mile that way. Used to be anyway. This grass is making it tough though, y'all, but I'm going to keep it up for a little bit longer. I got another idea I'm going to do for a video today. And whatever. Pushing the season, that's okay. Got some <clears throat> Uniface piece. I don't know if it was just a spall they never got anything else off of or what, but that's kind of pretty. Kind of a, that's a cook shirt again, been cooked a little bit. I think it's just a spall, but they, uh, I mean, there's no rip one. There's no work on it other than that, but that's what it is. I'd need Superman vision to find something this stuff. It's just impossible. What a bad year. This thing just needs to be burnt off. Well, we need right well, that's probably that. That's all there is to it. It's just what I am and what I do. I've had almost zero epic hunts. Well, epic to most people since I started this channel. But I don't do this for anybody but me. I just happen to take a camera along and once in a while it gets to be fun. I try to teach people a few things, but it's going to get better. Um, there are just thousands of acres of this stuff that ha hasn't even been harvested yet. And there's ground needs to get wet. There's all those things have to happen to have good hunts. I'm going to hit it a little bit harder, hopefully, here in a month. Well, deer season starts in a month, so it, whatever. I'll work it out. Um, if you haven't seen my videos before, this is what I do. I'm just kind of a plod along kind of guy. Found some pieces. For the minimal amount of bare dirt I could look at out there, I actually found several things. So, that's cool. Thank y'all for watching. God bless.